Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've ever wanted to turn a website design into an editable Figma project without spending hours recreating it from scratch, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to use HTML right inside Figma using a handy plugin. And within just a couple of minutes, you'll have a fully editable design ready to use. Whether you want to study how top websites like Netflix are built, customize them for your project, or just speed up your workflow, this tutorial is going to open up a lot of creative possibilities for you. All right, let's dive straight into it. First things first, as soon as you're in your Figma file, head down to the bottom center of your screen. You'll notice there's a little action menu there. This is where all your plugins are housed. Give that a click. Now, the reason we start here is because, in Figma, plugins are basically power tools that add new, awesome features to your workspace without cluttering up the main interface, so it's handy to know right where to find them. With the plugin menu open, look for the search bar at the top. Type in HTML to design. This is the plugin that's going to do all the heavy lifting for us by converting a live web page into layered, editable Figma components. Go ahead and install it if you haven't before or just select it from your list if you already have it installed. Next up, once the plugin launches, you'll see an input field asking for a website URL. This is where the magic really happens. Say you want to recreate the Netflix interface, just type in www.netflix.com into that box. But remember, you can paste any website here, so the possibilities are endless. After pasting in the URL, hit import. You might have to wait just a moment while the plugin does its thing, especially if the page is visually complex. Now take a look at your Figma canvas, you'll see the entire Netflix user interface waiting there for you, and the best part is it's all fully editable. Every little part from the header to the navigation elements, down to the image thumbnails, has been converted into Figma-friendly objects. This is super useful if you want to study layouts, play with color schemes, or simply repurpose parts of the design for your own work. But let's say you want to work with a mobile version of the site instead of the desktop layout. No problem. Inside the plugin, there's a selection to switch the device type. Just choose the phone option and then hit import again. This will bring in the mobile design, which is really handy if you're focusing on mobile app prototypes or responsive layouts. Once everything's imported, you're not stuck with what you see. You can click on any element, move things around, pick new colors, change text, or swap out images, basically make it yours. Think of this like taking apart a Lego set and rebuilding it with your own twist. And there you have it. In just a couple of minutes, you've gone from a live website to a fully editable design project inside Figma, all thanks to the HTML to design plugin. If any step feels tricky or if you're not seeing the design load right away, don't worry, sometimes things take an extra moment or a refresh can help. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you've got questions or if there's another plugin you want to see covered. Don't forget to subscribe for more time-saving design tutorials, and as always, happy designing!